Mr. Danielson will be fit filming us today. Uh, so thank you for being here, Bruce. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you for being here today. Uh, nice sunny afternoon in Sioux Falls. Um, we're, we're really excited to get to this point today to announce the public-private partnership for our mixed-use uh, parking ramp in downtown Sioux Falls. This project is a mixed-use public-private partnership, and it's one of those projects that will really improve the development, the, the density of development in downtown Sioux Falls. And that's one of the goals we have in our downtown 2025 plan, is to really maximize the use of that limited space we do have remaining in our downtown. Uh, this, this plan, this project, will achieve multiple goals from the downtown 2025 plan. And our team is excited to, to share a little bit more about that project today. And to give you a little bit of background on this project, Matt Nelson, our public parking manager, is going to do that today. So please welcome Matt. Good afternoon, Matt Nelson, public parking manager. Well, today is an exciting step forward for public parking. For over a decade, the city of Sioux Falls has worked towards adding structured parking downtown. Our current occupancy rates, industry planning standards, multiple professional studies uh, are recommending that we need to add more parking in downtown. Our current lease rate is at 100%. Our system is full and at capacity, and we're continuing to see significant demand for more parking in our downtown. Our new parking structure incorporates community feedback from the 2025 downtown plan and will be a public-private partnership which will maximize the selected site with a mixed-use development. This selected site was vetted and recommended in the 2007 Walker Parking Study and again in the updated 2014, updated uh, 2014 Walker Parking Study. I want to make sure that we are very clear on how this parking ramp is going to be paid for. Uh, this parking ramp will be built with enterprise funds uh, meaning that it will be paid for with user fees from the parking system and general tax funds will not be used to pay for this parking ramp. Um, in addition to not using general tax funds, like all of our ramps downtown, this ramp will be free for public use on nights and weekends, so anyone coming downtown can enjoy those ramps for free at no cost, which is a huge win to the public. At this time, I'd like to turn the podium over to Brent O'Neill, our Economic Development Manager, to introduce all of our partners in this project. Thanks, Matt. As we did uh, form our team to look at this project, it was important for us to do something significant and special at this site. By working with a private partner, we had an opportunity to not only provide the parking needed downtown, but do something uh, more special on the site by adding uh, features and activities such as residential uses, uh, commercial office space potentially, and retail activity. In the summer of 2016, the city solicited firms that could possibly partner with the city to uh, coexist on this project. As we ranked the submissions, it was important to take the additional step of working with the top proposer to ensure that both the objectives of the city and that pro proposer could be met on this project. Today, the city is excited to announce that Legacy Developments and Consulting was unanimously identified by the selection committee as the top partner uh, for this project, and both the city and Legacy feel very strongly at this point that we're gonna bring a successful and monumental project to downtown Sioux Falls. It takes a strong team to bring together all the nuances of a mixed-use, multi-owner property like this. Legacy Developments has been a leading developer in Sioux Falls for several years, and in the downtown area alone, they've been a part of 15 uh, different projects. Some of those projects include the Security Bank building, uh, that renovation a few years ago, the Uptown Exchange loss, and bringing JH and Sons to Phillips Avenue. This partnership is strengthened by our entire team, Journey Group has been identified to lead the construction activities on the site for the city's portion of this project. Gil Haugen Construction will be working on behalf of Legacy uh, Developments to do that portion of the project. Together, these two entities have a 160-year history in Sioux Falls, uh, bringing uh, some of the more significant projects this community has had uh, together over that time period. Additionally, the city and legacy have selected JLG Architects to help us design a seamless, uh, cohesive project that will fulfill both, again, the public and private elements of bringing this project together. Walker Parking Consultants and Tager Group are also assisting the city uh, throughout this project. I would like to pause for a moment and just acknowledge all those uh, 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 entities I just mentioned. Norm, of course, will be speaking in a moment on, on behalf of Legacy Developments. 
Dave Van Neuhuizen is here representing JLG Architects. Wes Ingbers is Wes Ingbers is here, excuse me, representing Gil Haugen Construction, and Tony Wiseman is here representing the Journey Group. There are also quite a few folks here from the city team, and I, I think I would struggle to name all of them, but I, I just want to acknowledge that this is a multi-department effort of the city. It takes not only community development who's leading this project, but work with finance, work with the planning department, work with public works, and, and the attorney's office and others that are coming as necessary to really bring this project together and get it done the right way. Our immediate next step is to begin the schematic design of the project to determine the exact number of parking spaces on the city side and to help uh, determine the program on the private side, the number of residential units and the amount of commercial space available. We anticipate by mid-spring having advanced details of the project program available and be able to take the additional approval steps necessary to bring this project forward. The city's portion of construction will last approximately one year Legacy developments work would immediately follow that. Groundbreaking uh, would be scheduled for this fall, fall of 2017. I'm going to pause now and turn it over to Norm Drake, who, wanna make a, who wants to make a few remarks on behalf of Legacy. Thank you, Brent. On behalf of Legacy Developments, I'd like to thank all of those people in the city, the city council, for selecting us and entrusting us with the development of the private sector in this very unique and exciting opportunity in this public-private uh, relationship. We look forward to working with the team that's been assembled and are excited about the future and things to come. Well, thank you, Norm. I, I'd like to just say thank you for your dedication to Sioux Falls um, the investment that you and Legacy Developments have made in our community over the past several years. You know, completing more than 40 projects in the last few years and more than 15 of those projects in downtown Sioux Falls is an accomplishment that very few people in any community can say they've done. And, and we happen to have that partner on our team. And uh, in Sioux Falls, we're very fortunate that we have um, a number of companies like Legacy Development, and we're proud to partner with some of those companies today with Journey Group and, and Gil Haugen and JLG. So, so thank you, everybody. Thank you all for being here today. Uh, thanks to the city council members in attendance today. We appreciate your support and look forward to discussing this project further. Uh, we'll be at the informational meeting on Monday afternoon. And like Brett mentioned, we'll be bringing this project uh, forward through architectural contracts in the near future but ultimately to request your support and approval in April for a final schematic design and price that was requested of the project team back uh, in the fall of 2016. So I guess at this point, we'd like to just open the uh, floor for questions from the, from the media, so please. Is there a cost estimate for the project? No, at this point, we don't have a cost estimate. That's one of the things we'll work with JLG and Journey Group and Gil Haugen to develop that final design and final or schematic design and schematic cost. And we anticipate having that in April. Would it be paid for solely by the user fees though? Uh, the, the user fees will pay for only the public parking portion of the project. Private investment will pay for all of the private development, the retail, office, uh, residential. The city will not invest or have a responsibility to pay for any of that piece. Yes. Uh, when we looked at the selection criteria, we tried to look at the, the fit of the team, uh, the history of projects that they had completed, and then just some of the ideas that they had shared about doing a visionary project in our downtown Sioux Falls. We also looked at the ability of the, the team to deliver on large scale projects. You know, it's. Um, it's a lot different to have a vision and, than having a vision and turning that into reality and something tangible that you can touch. And so when we worked with this team uh, through the RFQ process, we felt like they did bring the right people to the table with the right vision, with financial capacity, and with the experience and expertise to come to a project that will be bold and visionary and become a destination for people in Sioux Falls. Is the second penny going to be used? collateral in any part of this? 
At this point, I, I'm not sure on the bond structure what that will look like. That's certainly something we'll work with the finance team. Uh, but we, we intend on fully funding this project with enterprise funds, and any repayment of bonds will be paid with enterprise funds. Are any city employees, uh, investors, in the uh, contractor or in the uh, project itself? Or no. Are, are they allowed to be? No. Any other questions, Joe? Can I talk a bit about the timeline to clarify? Because sure. the city's construction would be one year with legacy following that. My vision of this is that legacy is going to develop three level city above that and potentially residential above that. Is that not the case? Are these more continuous projects as opposed to one mixed construction? No, I think you have it right. It's a stacked construction with that first level being identified for like a pedestrian level retail along 10th Street. Um, and then on top of our project is where you'll see the, the additional mixed use development occur, that mixture of residential, retail, office. On top of that. Yes, but it, on the first level, it'll look like you're walking down any other road. You can go into a storefront. Now, that's our vision today. It was made very clear to us from our stakeholders in downtown through uh, the downtown 2025 plan through various conversations and with our partner um, that this is a mixed use and we need to make it look we don't have anything right now in Sioux Falls that looks like this um, and so we hope that this is the first project of many in Sioux Falls that maximize that use of land. So you have a whole thing open at the same time? No. No, it's likely you'll be, yeah, you'll be parking in a structure where building will be going on on top of. Yeah. Yes, Councilor. Just to clarify for the public, <coughs> and our last information on the um, grant to the property about the second tenant enrollment in the city, is that going to be approved as part of the Councilor, that is certainly an option to secure that debt with that collateral, but it's something that's not required that we'll work with the finance team and when we, we bring that to the council, um, we'll certainly have that detail, but we haven't explored the, those possibilities with bond council or any financial institutions at this point. Right now our focus is on getting the, the project announced, uh, getting that schematic design process complete, so we can bring back a design and a price to the public and the council. How soon would you this to the council? Uh, our, our plan right now is looking about that April time frame to request that project approval, um, come back, and that's when we think, instead of seeing a couple of blue boxes up here with some circles, we hope then that we can come back to the public and we can show you a grand vision and, and then here's the price tag for what the, the enterprise funds will be responsible for paying for. Yes? Thank you. Um, it's on level. Yes, um, you know, that's certainly part of the project that we're discussing as a program concept. Uh, certainly when we get into the design phase, um, that's when we'll really firm up that there'll be subsurface parking. Um, but. Our plan is to do that, but certainly a lot of that will depend on the pricing of the structure. Yes? You know, at this time, uh, our plan is to complete this project using enterprise funds and private investment. Uh, certainly, I know others have probably thought of, of TIF, but our plan right now as we go through the schematic design process is to have user fees pay for the public piece and for private investment to pay for their portion. Uh, we don't intend on using uh, those at this point. Do you have any idea how many parking spots you'd like to include in this structure? You know, we've used a range of anywhere from 400 to 650, and a lot of that really comes down to pricing and what that final mix uh, use is. Um, 400 to 650 is really the estimate. We know it'll be somewhere in that range, but uh, obviously uh, cost escalation will factor into that. Um, 
So, but we will have that identified, that number, by the time we complete schematic design. That's part of the design process. All right. Well, thank you all for being here. This is a great day for Sioux Falls. This is a great day for downtown Sioux Falls. Last year, we were fortunate to have over $50 million of development in, in downtown Sioux Falls. We feel this is the first step to make in 2017 an even greater year in downtown Sioux Falls. Have a great day, everybody. Could you uh, put your cookies down, please? Uh, security, escort this gentleman out, please. Come on, Soda Pop, let's go.